Are you tired of managing repetitive tasks manually or dealing with inefficient process that slow down your team? Streamlining workflows doesn't have to be complicated. Welcome to Kisflow, the ultimate program for automating and managing workflows with ease. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will walk you through how to use Kisflow to design workflows, automate process, track progress, and analyze performance, all from one dashboard. Yeah, so this is an introduction video. I will try to explain as much as possible here. Now let's get started. So before moving further, I want to show you the pricing tab. Obviously, the pricing plays a very important role here. Now this is, it gives you two plan, the basic and enterprise. And the basic is, you can see here, $1,500 per month. It includes up to 50 users. And if you have more than 50 users, you can just go and click on get started. And you can, you know, it will be give you a custom plan depending upon, uh, you know, what's your need and how many users are in your company and how many users want to use it, right? As well as there are new features too. Now, if you want to compare with the other softwares as well as compare the both the plans, you can just go and click on download the full plan comparison. Here are the testimonials that this is used by some of the largest brand of the world. Right now you can come to the website and you can, uh, you know, invest your time in detail and you can read about this on the type uh, type you know, on the top right side corner. Just go and click on get started. So here you have to just enter your name and your business email and your phone number and click on get started. Now here you can see thanks for your interest in exploring the Kessler. Our solution expert will get in touch with you within one business date and make sure that you enter the correct email. Otherwise, they won't be able to contact you. So as we know, Kissflow is a powerful workflow management and automation platform designed to help businesses streamline operations. Here you can customize your workflow. You can design it. There's automation tool. There's a collaboration features. And there's a lot of things, right? If I just go to the platforms, you can see here. And as you can see here, Kissflow just launched their Kissflow AI, which is really good. Right, you can schedule a demo they will as i already told you and by Kistra, you can just come up here and you will get to know right so let me let's go back for now right and let's go for here now this is a dashboard how it's look so for example you can see here this is an asset data form demo right as we don't have the access so this is the best way where i can explain you some of the basic features without getting a demo here so you can see here for example you can build an app you can build pages, there's a managing roles and access, and there's a no code tool, right? So you don't need to code, obviously. So for example, if you want to, let's create a data form. So here, let's first of all, let me just mute this. Right, now here you can see, you will get an option of blank data form. So you can just go and click on it. Then you have to enter your name and the description and click on create, right? So here, how you can do it. Now, this is the all the fields. All fields have various categories that you can use it in your data form, right? And let's say, let me just click on here. These are the basic general things, all this stuff here, which you can just, for example, if I want to add a text, I can just drag and drop it here, right? So this is how usually it's look. This is a data look of fill here, right? And same way, you can just click and hold and drag it here, right? So this is really easy. And you can use file and media attachment section, which you can do it from here, right? That is attachments and images. This is the advanced category fields where the fields are signature, aggregation, geolocation, and there's a lot of stuff. And as well as there's a scanner, the buttons and reading, these are the widgets which you can use it to decorate up, right? Now, for example, I want to drop down. So I will just go and click on here, put it here, and just go to the name section. I can change the title so once I, if I just go and click on here I can enter it for example this is an asset category and put it here in the this one and I can just go and click on create a list now the list will be created from here and I have to just enter the list of items now once I create the list I have to just go and click on apply now automatically I can add another section as long as I want so section make it easier to organize related field together. You can control who can view the edit the section, right? So for example, I want to add a section. Now there's a AI suggested form too. I can do it manually, but I have a AI section, which makes really easy for me. 
So this is my employee details. I will just go ahead and click on get suggestion, right? I have to enter my employee ID so I can just drag and drop and put it here. Right now in this way, I can just enter the, you know, I can change the title. I can click here to enter the name. So for example, now this is a validation. This ensures that the data entered in the field meets specific criteria. So if I just go and click on here, add a validation rule. Now this is, I want to set a rule, which is, you know, on your system field to control the visibility of your form field. Right now, system field are special columns in a database to store metadata about each record. Right now, here I can show it. So this is a style. Let's you configure field by adding appearance, and you can basically decorate and you can add your brand colors depending upon that data design magic criteria and everything here. So it's some basic features. Now this is a events allow you to configure custom JavaScript that will trigger an event when an action is done on the specific field right so for example if i go and click on here now i have to just go and click on save right now this is how you can create a data form same goes for process boards variables now this is a board right so this is pretty similar like kanban boards or trello or asana boards right for example you're doing you can create a new project right you can see here this is how you can create it right and I can just go and click on there's a lot of easy thing to do I can create sub task right inside of main task and I can set the status of the priority whether it's what is happening with that project right whether it's in the work in progress whether it's done or whether it's postponed so I can put it here and each and every team member will automatically come to know so it is better to use a Kanban board similar like this one right which is called boards in case flow and it's get sync in with each and every member now here you can see also put it in a list section or in a normal tab section just look like uh, you know google calendar sections right but i prefer the kanban boards which is much more easy as you can see here i can just drag and drop whenever the project is done right and there's a lot of features which you can see here you can edit the flow and uh, you can see these are the different section you can edit the sections right for example this is a not started is a section discussion is a section in progress review and ready I can create my own section to make it really good right now this is how we can do so and i guess we have talked a lot about the case flow here and thus we have it a complete step-by-step -step guide to use case flow to streamline your automation process now obviously case flow has a lot of more features you can usually come up here and you can see here there's a lot more for example app builder you know form builders decision tables boards we already talked about it there's an integration so you can integrate with some of these popular apps for example slack trello asana and there's a lot of things right and there's another templates templates for hr procurement finance and you can explore more and more templates and there's are so many features right if i just make a separate video on each feature um, the video will go a uh, really long right as you can see here there's a performance appraisal training feedback internal job application so it's a combination of each and every application which is you know used in a businesses the case flow provides you all in one obviously the pricing is higher as compared to the other competitors but you know case flow is really good at putting everything in one dashboard that is what it's famous and that is why you know major companies use it so if you found this video really useful make sure to like this video and subscribe